All right, here up at No Reserve, we have this incredible 1977 Suburban. It's original owner. It's always been in the Northwest in Washington. Uh, it's this uh, going to be the K10 series, so it would be a half ton, four by four. Um, this is my favorite color combo for the, uh, you know, the, the, the C20, K20, K10, any of the trucks. But it's called Rustic Metallic, and then uh, the Desert Tan. So the outside's metallic, and the center belly is a solid color. Uh, just a really clean, tasteful color combo. But this thing has had one repaint. Otherwise, uh, other than that, it's all original. I mean, this thing even has all the little plastic grommets underneath the hood that are long gone. A really clean engine, really clean underbay. It's had factory undercoating, so it's rust-free truck underneath the fenders. You get pictures of it and a video up on the lift. I got a, probably 50 photos of just the underside in all the common rust areas. There's only going to be a couple little bubbles um, on the tailgate that I'll show you. But we'll go ahead and get walk around. It's um, really cool. It comes with uh, you know all the original books and brochures. It's just cool to see something, you know, make it 45 years, and um, you know still got all the uh, colors and everything. And so this is they're actually right next to each other, Santa Fe tan, and which is going to be this one, and then the buckskin metallic. So it's kind of like a copper, burnt orange color. Uh, it's got aftermarket AC put on it a long time ago. Uh, still seems to blow cold. Um, it's got the registration for the AC. It was put in in 79. That's in the original owner's name. Pretty cool uh, stuff that comes with it. Original owner's manual. Um, the Suburban brochure, which is, this one's a two-wheel drive, but this one's saying it's a brochure truck. It's This color combo is all throughout the brochure, so it was a real popular color back then. Um, you jump over in here into the four wheelers. They use the same color combo here on the front of the brochure also. You know, trailer guide showing them how much you could tow. Chevy Tough Trucks, really cool stuff. Um, it's really awesome. It's got original registration with it in the envelope, but it also looks like the original owner uh, bought a 77 same year uh, fishing boat and the uh, registrations in there and then some stuff it's cool it's, he obviously did some road tripping he you know got this when it was brand new 77 78 um canadian road map so there's really cool stuff like that original keychains uh, it's got the original um the original uh the uh original dealership still got its keychain tag on there it's kind of having a hard time focusing but it's got the original owner's name on it there that's on the title too um, so we'll go ahead and get a walk around. You're not going to have any, you know, breakups in the plastics. Um, it's really clean. There's photo behind the license plate. You can see the bolts are super clean. This is the base coat, clear coat paint job. Nothing, none of the grills busted out. You know, you will see some fadings, of course. Um, a little bit, kind of like a pot metaling, a little bit of um, aging in the chrome. But again, the, the shine and uh, on this body, there's not one dent. Let's see, we got the... Uh, camera for there we go she was going out of focus on me but I'll lift up the hood and it's cool to see that he did the hood braces to save this truck back in the day um, so it's cool to see some of that stuff but on the hood is just just super clean original steel wheels the paint is just amazing on them the caps are in nice shape it is gonna be a all-wheel drive model so super easy all you gotta do is put manual hubs on here and it's um, so it's you select it in two-wheel drive in there, four-wheel drive just like normal. The only difference is is this has got more modern style hubs, kind of when they started doing that. But look at all the photos. I mean, there is just absolutely no rust on this thing. It does have full-length running boards that come with it, diamond plate ones. Uh, not really my taste, but you'll see that's where they did attach. Just a little bit of marking up in the paint. And there, those will be in the photos. If you want them, I'll put them inside. Tires are what put on it. 2019 um, there's also a receipt in there from 2010 he put t tires on it obviously they aged out but it's only had like 5,000 miles put on it since then you look at the condition of the wheels is super clean I mean you look obviously this isn't a wheel that's been painted or something you would see paint marks I'll go nice and slow I mean just this is the nicest suburban square body suburban or you know or uh, really any Suburban I've seen that's not from the 90s that's uh, this nice and this clean. You know, all the felts are in good shape. Um, you'll see around the rubbers, I took a bunch of photos. A little bit hard when I get moving for the camera to focus. Um, I have some top side photos, of course. All the glass is original, and it has the safety flow light. So I got refocused here, sorry about that, but uh, 
you see you will see some cracks here um, but this is the safety float light logo I was talking about that's in each one of the pieces of glass um, you can see the, the fuzzies for the felts are still in nice condition rubbers are in nice shape you know you don't have a lot of times they'll shrink as they're pulling back and you just do the same thing on the glass the original front glass you know it's not the rubber's not pulling back it's nice and soft still it'll take you the you know there's no square body bowing on the hood I mean you'll see all the all the panel gaps are just perfect no hinge issues but I just uh, you know it's crazy I you know, wanted to put a lift kit on this thing and 35 BFG KOs with original wheels or maybe go to some Detroit Steel 20s, but you just, this thing drives so amazing. Um, show you the panel gaps here. You see the hood gap there is really nice. Just this nice and straight on this side too. Um, but hopefully the camera will let us focus. It's, uh, we'll get a photo of it in the pictures too. But there we go. It's the uh, safety flow light original front windshield. Might as well take you around this side. There's a little chip here. And there's a dent in the, uh, not in the sheet metal, but there's a little dent in the trim there. It looks like maybe they bumped up against something. It kind of scuffed up the paint a little bit. That's pretty much the extent of it. Um, you see inside us, wheels are just super clean. Underside, same condition. I mean, all the trim is nice and shiny. You know, it doesn't have that white oxidized look. The paint in the in, in the wheel well trim is still there. A lot of times this is flaked off and long gone. You know, a little bit of scuff in the bezel, the tail light. Not sure what that would be from. This, uh, you could probably get off of some lacquer thinners, just transfer paint, but this is a little chip here. Original gas cap. this off you can see how clean that is behind there this thing is just amazing there's a little bit of crack in the paint on the top of the tailgate these tailgates are kind of famous for that stuff but the rear sweep looks like it's in nice shape little tiny little crack right there uh, this is a little bubble spot right here. Water kind of gets down your sits, but really super minor. And the cool thing is, is this is the solid color, it's not metallic. If personally I'd leave it, it's pretty minor. But if you want to get after it, you could just take the trim off, emblem off, and address this um, with what's needed once you tear that off. And then you could just paint this, and it'd be super easy to match. And even if it did end up being off a little bit, you don't have that whole lot of color that it butts up next to. This is another piece that's usually wiped out, and it's a nice shape. You can see behind the rear bumper is super clean. So we'll start off in the uh, back. The switch works from the inside and the outside. There's a switch on the dash. You can see there's no rust along here. And again, there's photos of all this stuff. If I do go a little quick, I just want to get going on the driving video, but I want you guys to see everything. And this is how it's supposed to look. It's kind of crazy looking, but look at the condition of these things. The rear carpet is definitely not in very good shape, and it's going to crumble if I take it all apart. Um, so I would personally take this out, get it all nice and dry. Um, it's got a spare tire, original spare. Um, but I would take this all out. I do, I did, it is a factory, it did uh, source, sorry, I hit the power button, but it did source the uh, third seat, and, uh, but it doesn't match. It is tan, but it has a cloth on it. Um, take you inside here. All the, it's kind of interesting to see this truck. Anybody that's familiar stuff from the, that's this older, but especially the 70s and 80s, it's interesting to see how all the plastics age differently. Um, you'll see this is like a real nice deep tan, and then this stuff is faded to a lighter tan. Um, each door panel is a little bit of a different color. The armrests are vinyl, so they've aged a little bit. But you'll see throughout here, it's nice rust-free condition. Seats are just in perfect condition. Um, this does fold down, and I have pictures of that. And so you have a, you could put a full uh, piece of four x eight plywood down here. You do have a little bit of sagging in the headliner, but again, um, 
just incredible to see it be all there for 1977 and never messed with. The driver's door panel is a little bit more faded than the rest of them. But again, you can see built in 377. I'll try to go nice and slow here for you. You can see there's just no rust. No rust. Anybody familiar with these square bodies, you know you know where to look for all these things, and you know you could probably go through about 10 pictures of the underside and door jams of these things, and you know how solid this and honest this truck is. But look at the original carpet. I mean, besides that rear cargo area that I think he probably took the third seat out because he probably was using it for the cargo type stuff. But the rest of the carpet's amazing shape. So I would just take that out. Um, I'd probably put just get a from LMC truck, get a vinyl mat. You know, I have a little bit of fading. You have some cracks in the dash. You know, real common stuff. But it's just awesome to see original stereo. This is the this is the aftermarket EC that was put in. Um, see the kick panels are nice. You got barely any wear on those uh, foot pads. You know, it's got 99,000 original miles, so it hasn't turned over 100,000 yet. And you could tell by you know the condition of this thing, and with a couple of the receipts that we do get in there, that this thing. It's truly original 99,000 miles. I mean, they just, these things are, it's, it's just crazy how difficult it is to find these things. See all the bolts are in nice condition. And the carpets are just, man, it's got this cool matching garbage bag. Um, but again, anything that's covered up, the uh, glove box is all intact. And the seat's just perfect. There's not a slit cut burn mark and any of it zero odors on this truck and this folds down if you want entry and you can still have two passengers which is super cool and we're going to do a driving video and a video up on the lift i'll be doing a cold star video nice emblem I and mean, the paint job is just beautiful and shiny on this thing it pops right up I'll put you down as a two-handed operation. There's the aftermarket AC, but you'll see how clean this motor is. But one of the items that uh, on this this truck that's incredible to still see is it's hard to reach, but you see that plastic circular cover on top of the distributor cap. It clamps onto the, the uh, coil, and it's original piece, and it holds down the wires so they don't come loose. You never see those anymore. <laughs> those things are just long discarded. Um, it has all its original plastic wire separators. Those things are usually long gone, snapped, broken. Um, it's also got the one in the back. Um, we did have the wires replaced. You can see right there where my finger is. Original one. Original hose clamps. You know, this is stuff that, you know, even back in the day I used to replace. Um, it was just cool to see this stuff, the original stuff. Um, he said it just this stuff was just usually long gone even by myself. You know, AC we put AC Delco plugs in it. Both those. The decal super readable. It's got the uh, this is the original GM PCV hose. This stuff like that is just unbelievable. It is missing the jack, oddly enough, but uh, um, you can see we put the new fuel pump on there. We took off was the original. Um, this is see no rust, but you can see how clean that motor is. One thing I did forget to mention, um, you know, it comes with those uh, diamond plate steps you'll see pictures of, but also um, a couple of the window cranks are missing this over. So I did order some new ones, but you know, with COVID stuff it takes a little while. So I'll talk to the, you know, we'll put these on here. It's just missing the little silver guy that goes there. But I ordered two new ones from uh, Brothers Truck Parts. Brothers Truck Parts, LMT Truck, anything you can want for these. It's just unbelievable. But, um, but this truck really doesn't need anything. I just, it's just more of an aesthetic deal. I just want to have those on there. You could get new door panels if you want to, to also. Um, so it's fired up. You know, we're going to do a run and drive video. Um, you can hear the original stereo. Would restrict the manufacture of untraceable ghost guns. It's really clean, really clear. It's AM, of course. Um, I'll go ahead and put on the. Put on the old e brake. Just make sure nothing gets away from me. Open this guy back up, and he gets here and just running, just, just super quiet. Um, I've had a lot of 
you know, a lot of these old square body Blazers, Suburbans, half done three quarter ton trucks, and this thing runs the quietest and smoothest. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it run, get it up to temperature. Uh, it's probably 30 some degrees right now, so you have a little cold weather connotation coming out of the exhaust, but no smoking or nothing. So this is just an unbelievable Suburban, uh, really hard to find nowadays. Uh, it's gonna be going on no reserve, so be a lucky new owner. Good luck.